I get to the place. I go inside the office. And the person says, it's not ready yet. Put your empty and door so-and-so and go park. Pass the pipe, I see you. Says he loves the show. You the second did the cash yet. And he tells me to park. And he'll call me when it when the other one's ready. Now, at first glance, I'm thinking this is a good thing. I'm, you know, I'm gonna get to chill. Remember, we got a new influx of rookies that's coming in here, so this is a t- teachable moment. So be in the comments. Please be saying some teachable shit. I'm a chill. I'm good. And it comes to my first thing. How do you pass your time on the road? Will affect your mental state. Have y'all ever seen the old heads that just do hard time? I'll wait because y'all probably never seen this before. So I'll park, and I already got stuff to do. You hear me? I park, boom, get my bobtail over to where it's supposed to be. Boom, my APU's kicking on. I'll pull out my uh, video game, or I hit my video game, turn my video game on. I have my internet. Boom, connect to the internet. I can play Call of Duty for two hours. Forget about it. I'm Gucci. Some of y'all are not imaginative on how to spend your time. So there's some dudes who come in, they just do hard time. Period. TB, what is hard time? Hard time is when you pull up to the place, they tell you to wait, and you just sit in the front seat. You're not on the phone. You ain't even scrolling the internet. You're just sitting out looking in the front seat, just sitting looking. And you just do the hard time. You sit there. Some dudes smoke a cigarette in front of the truck. Do stuff like that. But for the most part, they're just sitting there looking out the window. Then some people who know how to entertain themselves, they slide their front shade. They got their movies. They FaceTime who they want to FaceTime. You know, different things are going on, and they can kind of handle the time better. Some dudes ain't like that, man. They just sit there and wait. They just do the hard time. So we're at this place. And this place tells us, all right, we'll get to you when it's ready. You got to this place. You only drove three hours today. You're fresh. You're ready to run. You're ready to go. He sits you. You get there 9 o'clock in the morning. Everything's cool for the first couple hours of BS, and then after a while, you're like, man, God, man, man, I'm ready to go. I'm ready to leave. There's a few places, ways you can mess up like this. Me, I'm knowing I can't control when this guy gives me something. Pastor Pipe says learn an instrument. He also hit the catch up a second time. He's top of the catch, yeah. I know not to go in and say anything, but maybe this guy doesn't. So at one o'clock, I'll message to my DM and say, hey man, they're kind of delayed. They still haven't, you know, they still haven't given me the load yet. He goes inside at one. Now he's been stewing for nine, 10, 11, 12, one, four hours. And since he's just been sitting there thinking about, I'm not getting loaded. He's affected. He's angry. He's mad. He's not liking it. Now, I'm sitting here shooting people, having a ball, chilling. He's sitting in that seat, first hour, angry. I'm sitting here getting kid having a ball. Thank you, Mr. Elite. He's getting madder the second hour. He's angry. He's, he's walking around. He called his DM, yelled at him. What's going on? I don't understand why it's taking so long. You told me this was ready to go. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 
No one's feeling him right now. Nobody is feeling him right now. Nobody. Scorpion, I see you. Nobody's feeling him right now. He goes sit back another hour past. At this point, he's freaking, he's mad. He's angry at this point. I don't know this because I'm inside picking Cheeto dust out my belly button, playing a video game, chilling. Not even paying attention to the time. The way I'm looking at it is if, if they call, I'll go get it. If they don't call, I'm chilling. At this point, my titty meets out. I'm in my box. I'm in my uh, boxer shorts. One testicle hanging out that thing. I'm, I got I got my old lady on the phone. I'm playing the game, chilling, all type of stuff. I'm, I'm not thinking about the time at all. But he's sitting there getting angrier and angrier. It's messing with his what? His mental state. Because he's calculating this check. And he's thinking, I need this load. I need this load, bro. So he does what most people do who are working people. He tries to fix the problem. He goes inside of the shipper. Bad news. Whether he's right or wrong is not really my interest here. We're just discussing his state of mind. He goes inside the shipper. Now he stewed for four hours. He's angry. When he walks inside, someone right now type, what is his attitude going to be? How is he going to come off after stewing for four hours? When he wasn't expecting to stew for four hours. What is he going to sound like when he hits that desk? Now me, been in the game for a while down the county, down the river. I already know I'm screwed. From when I looked at that, when I looked at the, when it said meat place and I, they got to 12 o'clock tonight to give it to me. I was not expecting to get this load. Him not paying attention, he's expecting to get this load now because his DM told him go get it now to sell him on the load. When your DM calls you, it is a sales call. When you're at a company that professed to not have forced dispatch, it's a lie, but when they say you can say no, that makes the DM have to, be, have to sell it to you. So he's thinking his DM is being spit on the hand straight with him. Spit, this is the deal, shake hand. He's thinking it's like that. It is not like that. He needs to get this off his docket. He got to sell you on taking it. Once you accept it, he's good to go. It's off his books. He's on to the next dude to sell him something. He's thinking, you're my DM. You're a straight up man. You tell me something's going to be that way, it's going to be that way. And let's be real, you should think of things that way. That is that's just the way you've been grazed. You tell me you're going to do something, you do it. He's not comprehending that dude just wanted it off his books. He just he just wanted it off his books. He don't care how this helps your week out. He don't care. He just needed it off his books. So when he walks in, um, man, I've been here four hours, man. It's nine o'clock this morning. I don't understand what's taking all long on the load. I was told that it'll be here on time. I could come pick it up. According to the DM, I could come just pick it up right now. I don't understand what's taking y'all so long. Y'all do this every time I come here. He's hitting them with that. Now, anyone who's been in the game for a while, they already know what's about to happen to this guy. They already know what's about to happen to this guy. You went in there and pissed the lady off. What happens to his paperwork? That was on the top. He had paperwork on the top of the list. What did he just do to this paperwork? <laughs> Douglas, top of the cash, yeah. Knocked everybody out combined. What just happened? 
Did he did he just get his load started faster? Because in his mind, that's what he's trying to do. I'm I'm gonna go in here and put a fire under him, under these people. <laughs> And I'm going to get them to start my stuff a little bit faster. It, it, that, it, it, come on, man. They t- convertible creed. I see you back, playboy. Convertible creed. They took his paper and they put it to the bottom of the list. Now, I've never been able to be there, but this is what I think that goes on. Anyone who's worked in the warehouse can tell you this is true or not. She either told somebody to do his last or she never gave the paperwork to him to get it done. Either way, they're not going to touch his truck last. The six hour comes along. Where's his mental state? He's, He's angry. He is... No, he's not angry. He's furious. Now, me, I'm whistling Dixie. They're going to call me at that four to five hour mark. KM says slower probably the next day. They're going to call me. You hear me? And it's time for me to move forward. So I come to the front, brush the Cheeto dust off the end. No good. So, and I freaking get my stuff together and I pull my curtain back. And who's sitting right there in his truck next to me angry? I came in 30 minutes after him. And I'm going to drive up there to be by my load. He's going to freaking go insane. No. He's, he's going to be angry, bro. Hi, they called you already. Why didn't call me? I was here before him. Yada yada. So he goes back to the shipper. Everybody has been in this situation. He goes back up there. What is going on? I was here before the last guy. What is happening? Why aren't you loading me? She gets snippy with him. So he gets a little rude, but you know what? Screw it. You don't know what you're doing. You guys are crazy. I'm sitting here waiting. If you don't give it to me by the time, I'm going to leave. He goes back to his truck. Now she knows. She's going to do what I call, she's going to give it to the next shift. And if she does that, you are screwed. That means it's not going to touch nobody on this shift, bro. They're not going to look at that paperwork until the next shift comes in. Until the next shift comes in. And you say, are truckers crazy? No. They're not crazy. That's not a mental... We're not just inherently have mental health problems. The circumstances of the job puts you in a stressed out state. Now, he could have picked this load up when dude told him to pick it up. He could have picked it up 9 in the morning because it was told sold to him as a dropping hook. He could have ran this load, woke up the next day, put it in the door, scanned the paperwork, and it could have been on his paycheck. But since they held him, guess what's, what happens to this load? I'll wait. They pushed him back a day. What happens to this load? This, I'll wait. Nobody knows. But I don't like a truck. I digress. Is he going to see this 400-mile, $1,300 load? Is he going to see this on his check? 
There it goes to the next week. How does that affect his mental state? You know, because we're crazy. Hmm? How does this affect his mental state? They finally give him his load two in the morning. He says, screw it, I'm going to sleep. I'm done, I'm going to bed. Two in the morning, the guy comes and knocks on his door. Now, they've been talking about how rude he's been. They've been talking about how mad he's been. He, he's mad about his check. He's been here all day. He didn't have the proper amount of food. He's freaking hungry. He's tired of this freaking um, this gas station food. They're selling them in the spot. He gets to sleep about 12, 27. He's off into dreamland. He's cozy. He's peaceful. And what does he hear at 2.30 in the morning? Someone bamming on his door. So hard and so aggressively. So we have irritated. We have uh, uh, financial pressure. Now we have sleep deprivation. Now we have sleep deprivation. He can't get no rest. Right? Tell me how he feels waking up, didn't get his check, been here all day, didn't have good food, nobody's answering the phone in night dispatch, or nobody knows what to do in night dispatch, and now he's been woke up out of his peaceful sleep. He is freaking angry, he feels half drunk, and he doesn't make decisions as well as he would if he had rest. So now you have a sleepy, angry guy. Mm -hmm. We have a sleepy, angry guy. Do Brown, I see you. Honey, do Brown. He opens the window and just he just goes off. Why the heck are you knocking on my door so hard, you son's bitch? Dude's thinking, wow. You know, the little 23-year-old that, that, that you know, loads the truck or, 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 or is charged with being the yard guy to go wake people up. He don't give a shit about what you're going through. He don't care about what you're going through at all. So what does he do? He gets snippy with you. Man, get up. You can't stay here. And he tells you, fuck you. I'm not leaving. I don't have any time. Because, yeah, they burnt all his time. He's angry. So then he hears, well, you can't sleep here. Get your load and leave. There's no overnight parking. Mm, 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 mm. Oh, man. Are you kidding me? Are you kidding me? There's no overnight park. You kept me here at two in the morning. Yeah, he could sleep split, but at this point, it's the principal. He's not going to. So now you're telling me I got to go find a parking space in Atlanta, in Jersey. In Dallas, I have to go find a parking space 2 o'clock in the morning. But remember, truckers are crazy. Mm. 
What is his parking options at 2 o'clock in the morning? Y'all tell me what your parking options is in Atlanta, New Jersey, New York, Fontana. Tell me what his parking option is while I take a seat. What is his parking options? None. So when you run into him flying through the the, uh, the truck stop looking for a parking space, what is his mental state? It's angry. Of course he's mad. When he walks into the truck stop, is he going to be nice? No. He's tired. His eyes are bloodshot, freaking red. He's deliriously sleepy. He's angry. He's mad. He finally snuggles up on on an on-ramp somewhere and passes out. And what does his DM do? At about 10 in the morning when the truck is not moving, because you know, he stopped the truck at 345. We'll call it four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, one, two. He shouldn't be moving till two. Look, convertible creed already knows. I didn't even say it. I didn't even say it. Look at that. He already knows. Nine, we'll call it nine o'clock. His DM calls him. Yeah. His DM calls. And let me tell you, what does his DM get? A mouthful. He gets anger, rage, aggression, incoherent yelling. He wakes him up at 9, 10 in the morning and says, hey, man, you think you're going to be there on time? And that's something. You think you're going to be there on time is what the guy says. He ignores all your other messages of, I still ain't got to load at one in the morning. He ignores all of those. Hey, man, you think you're going to make this on time? No, Bryce. Timothy, I'm not going to make it on time. And for third or more, blip to blip to blip to blip to blip to blip. He asks, can you push the load to push it back some so I could be there on time? And the DM acts like that is an impossibility. So he tells them the thing nobody wants to hear. Well, you know, you could do an eight-two split. You don't want to do an eight-two split. Let's say he does it. He gets it there. Yeah, he gets it to where it's going. He gets it there as fast as possible, and he misses the date to scan it in. He goes through with his week. He gets his check. And his check is $1,300 short. Oh, my God, he's angry. 
He calls payroll. Payroll says, "Hey man, you missed the, you missed the cutoff day. You missed the you missed payroll. That'll be on your next check." Now, <laughs> how does he feel? Because we don't just have a men. We are hitting 382 followers on rumble.com. We started at nothing. Now we're at 382. I appreciate everybody that came over to rumble.com, man. I really do. Um, over there, you get 100% notifications. And um, I thank you for coming over and supporting it. On YouTube, they don't really support our type of conversation that truckers have. We're a little bit too crass. We're a little bit too rough, and they don't think it's good for the platform. So we have to go to a platform that promotes freedom of speech, and and that is Rumble.com. My name over there is TB Uncut. I also will always put a link down at the bottom. We're up to 382. I hope you come over, download the app onto your phone. It's a great experience. Be happy, and if you're new to the channel, please sub. We're out.